the game you are about to play contains graphic violence that some may find uncomfortable or disturbing. The player takes no responsibility for those who may be upset by proceeding. By continuing, you are consenting to the content therein and agreeing that you are capable and mature enough to enjoy this content responsibly. I understand. Hopefully you do too. Let's see. Or see it properly. It should be just in case we're not. There we go. All right. I went long bus ride, but I'm glad I finally here. I swear, I'm getting some intense deja vu right now. <laughs> well, probably because all the bus stations are the same. You look around yourself, taking in the surroundings, breathing in the nauseating aroma of bus exhaust and oil. Nothing like a dirty old bus saw to wake up the senses. Well, there's obviously not much to look at here at the Grey House, not Grey House, but Grey Horse bus station. I'm sure the rest of the city is beautiful, just like the brochure said. Hopefully the apartment company was honest about having a new place ready for me to move in. Unlike the last time. You quickly grab your heavy rolling luggage and try it toward the guest service area to check out the map. The stomach was growling and you were so hungry you could eat almost anything right now. Wow, the island is so much bigger than I expected. I'll never run out of things to do. Hmm, there's a cafe nearby. But they have some interesting local cuisine. I also kind of wanted to see the city. I still just wander around a little bit. I'm also pretty tired. Maybe I should just head to my brand new apartment. I will wander a little bit. I'm going to get a lay of the land today. A little walk around the area to see what's around and all. We spend the next half an hour just wandering the streets and window shopping. Let's see, I think we're better up here. Finally, you ended up at what you're pretty sure the map called the Work District. Made apparent by the giant skyscrapers that are surrounding you. You made your way to a nearby bench and sat down, watching all the people walking to and from buildings. Many of them seemed to just blend in together in the endless sea of blue and pink suits. You notice one of the blue suited businessmen has stopped a few feet in front of you. Seemed lost in thought and vacant. Maybe you should say something. Um, see. Um, we'll say something. Excuse me, sir. Are you alright? Huh? Huh? <laughs> are you talking to me? Yeah, sorry if I'm bothering you, but you seem down and I was wondering if you needed help. Well, um, excuse me. No one's talking to me in a while. Not since my wife left. A little rusty, huh? Please excuse my trusted manners. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Richard. Richard Everyman. I haven't heard that name before somewhere. Nice to meet you too. I'm you. I'm sorry to hear about your wife, but why won't anyone talk else talk to you? Oh, well, that's just how it is. I'm getting older and I can feel my clock ticking. We know how it is. You look fine to me. I think you have plenty of life left to you, man. This is how you choose to live it. I've never thought about it like that. Really? It's pretty common saying. Not around here. But, you're right. You? I'm gonna try to look up and hold on for as long as they'll allow it. Thank you. He's already power walking away from you before you can answer. You also chip a little mouth in the step and a smile to yourself. Before you can think about it longer, you hear labor breathing next to you that prompts you to glance to your side. Next to you is a short, balding man who seems to be struggling to catch his breath. His hands on his knees as he tries to regain his composure. Okay, let's let's uh give him a second. I thought you were gonna be at the cafe. Uh, well, I'm, I'm not out of shape. Be feeling like this in the morning. Yeah, hey, I'm him bail. Yada yada yada. I'm interested in selling you a house. Alright, I'm a realtor, by the way. 
Damn, the speech I have prepared was much better at the cafe. You were too shocked and confused to really think of a more articulate response other than what the hell are you talking about? What are you talking about then? <laughs> oh, um, house, I wanted to sell you a house real cheap. Look, just take my car and give me a call. Was him went from pocket to pocket searching for his car. Feel a little secondhand embarrassment for how awkward this guy was. I got it. Cutscene time. Are you waiting for your call? Because this guy's our house is this side of the valley and the other side too. We watched as the chubby little man scurried off. The weird pink hole sticking out of his neck, tripping him as he ran behind some bushes. Well, there's no way in hell I'm calling that guy. You moaned to yourself as you pocketed a slightly sticky car and stood up. Being late, you figured you better head home now. As you approach your new apartment complex, you feel warm in your heart and can't help thinking about how you finally getting a much needed change in your life. Just like the brochure that mysteriously showed up on your old door said. You take a deep breath in, take it in the cool air, clean air of the valley, and step forward to find your apartment number. Finally, you're standing in front of your new apartment. It has been long and tedious, but you are finally home. Your hand gripped onto the rolling suitcase and turned the handle. Click. The heck, why is it locked? Because you said it would be unlocked and the key would be on the counter. I'm so sick of dragging my luggage everywhere. I didn't get the company a call, I guess. You quickly pulled out your cell phone and called on the compartment company. Hello, I'm Candy Valley Apartment Hunters. How may we help you? Uh, hello, I'm supposed to move in today, but my apartment is locked. This is... Yes, we know who you are. You. We're going to call you, but... You hear a screaming coming from the background. The line followed by the sound of game show music. Sorry, we were going to call you, but we're having some slight difficulties at the office. Working on getting the mayor's assistance here right now to solve it. Until then, we're afraid your apartment has some slight... So the can laughter and the chainsaw worrying comes booming. The receiver had to pull away from your ear from the phone. Your ear away from the phone for a moment. Listen, I'm sorry, but your apartment won't be ready for... I got it. You made it. Be right back, you. You hear the sound of paper shuffling and arguing in the background. That you can't quite make out. You hear the word misunderstanding a lot and... Though, and host, whatever is in your concern. Your heart might not be ready until tomorrow. Our deepest apologies. Doesn't usually happen. But it seems to have been a mix up. We will reimburse you for a hotel stay for the night. We'll see the size of something. So a chance we will have this fixed in a couple of hours. Just don't go into any strange doors for a while. Okay. That the company hung up on you. Well, now what? Well, you get a hotel for the night. We try to burn some time. We're gonna call him, humor him. Did you really want to hang out with that guy? We'll say just, yeah. In this playthrough, we will find a hotel. Be best to just head to a hotel before it gets late. You're sure there's plenty of downtown. You can't shake your annoyance with the company, but shit happens, and your share of the company is in a worse spot than you are. Might as well take advantage of a free room, they said. They reimburse you, so you may, maybe you can have something pricier than usual. As you walk through the city, you peek into the random buildings and up at the skyscrapers. You marvel at the beauty of the valley. It really was a nice place to live, and you were happy to be here, regardless of the small challenges that were thrown at you. When you read the brochure, you were skeptical of the offers inside. Beautiful island views for affordable prices. No thoughts involved. We will set you up with your living space, your needs, and a job that works for you. It felt too good to be true, yet it felt as if um, it was pulling you here. And you couldn't stop thinking about it until you finally called them, just to sate your curiosity. The company said it would only be a couple hours. Should you wait around or call it a night at the hotel?
through the find the hotel route. Three deep and looked up, realizing you were standing in front of a rather swanky looking hotel. Your feet were sore from walking, so you decided this was the one. It's a pretty big hotel, what looked like a plethora of rooms. I didn't recognize the name, but it didn't matter much. After sending you in, made your way to your room, it was nice and spacious, but you could care less in a moment. So we face went onto the soft, pillowy mattress. You let your eyes flutter shut and your body melt into the bed as you drifted off. Thoughts of your new life swirling around in your head. You couldn't wait to get into your apartment tomorrow. And your new job at the gas station. Okay. I live. Um. Let's see. No, that's wrong. Hmm. Let's see some real quick. What happens if we don't talk to the guy? I want to see that. Y'all have already seen this part, so. Hmm. We will skip to the talk to the guy part. Alright, this time we're going to ignore him. There is what this man was doing through, and you figured it would be weird that stranger on the street about his problems. You watched him go on his way, you wondered maybe you could have done something. Were you thinking about it longer? Your labor breathing next to you prompted you to glance to your side? Okay, so. Yeah. Okay. Has some in the house, da da da. I don't think that really changed much, honestly. Doesn't look like it. So we'll still find the hotel. And uh Okay, so it doesn't change anything to uh talk to the guy or not, honestly. So now we're going to uh instead of wandering at first we're gonna go straight to the cafe. So be right back. Mm, cafe. Yeah, cafe sounds pretty amazing right now after a long bus ride. Looks like there's one pretty nearby and something called the normal bus business district. Kinda weird name. Well, who's who and I'm still who's starting to care right now. You finally reached the normal business district and found a specific cafe you had in mind. Small and clean, the strong smell of coffee wipes you by the. Uh, wipes by you with every patron that swings the door open. Quite a few people come in and going through the many stores and eateries. There was only one person really stands out in the crowd. You watch as a petite girl runs from person to person, seems to be asking them something, or screwing the information on a little clipboard in her hand. Suddenly, the two of you lock eyes. She makes a beeline for you before you have a chance to retreat. Or, never she but react. Yeah, you look new. May I have a moment of your time? Why she have fangs? Her cheery demeanor was a little off putting, but she seems sweet. Maybe you should humor her. We're gonna save all these spots so you can make sure we get everything accurate. We're gonna humor. Figure you might as well hear her out. It's not like you're in a hurry. Sure, what can I help you with? Oh, well, thank you. I promise I won't hold you for too long. My name is Abby Woodrow. I'm the assistant to the mayor of the valley. I'm just doing my monthly census. I need to keep very close track of those coming in and, and the state of everyone's living experience. So you're a new resident, I'm assuming. Yes, so I just got off the bus and was about to grab something to eat before heading to my new home. I see. You watch her as she scribbles something down her clipboard, her eyes going back and forth from the clipboard and back to you. Alright then, that will make you correct. I'm really happy to have you here at the valley. It really is such a nice place to live if you know where you're going. I do have to ask you though, this home you mentioned. It was assigned to you by the Uncanny Valley Apartment Hunters, right? Not by a 
Realtor? Uh, yes. Ah, perfect. You should be all set up for your new life here. Hope it'll be a long one. And by Realtors, I can't seem to find one of them for my senses, so just stay alert. Pretty sure they all reached their monthly allowment, but we had some mishaps. Hope you have a wonderful day. If you need anything, feel free to come to the mayor's office. For you to respond, Abby was already rushing past you to interview the next person. That was kind of weird, but you couldn't really think about how long loud your stomach was growling. So you head inside the cafe. You slowly step into the cafe, taking in the smooth, rich smell of brewing coffee, the sweet scent, and the baked goods. With your stomach growling even louder, it prompts you to rush to the counter and place your order as quickly as you can. After placing your order and snatching up your dinner for the day, you scurry over to the furthest table away from everyone else to scarf them all down. You sat down in a strangely soft chair. It to be wood, but the seat sunk in and shaped itself comfortably around you like memory foam. It must be cushioned with a good grain print. Figured as you looked over your order, you didn't think about what you were getting when you ordered, only going by what looked good in display. You had decided to go with the tea today. The aroma wafting gently with the smoke and drifted from the hot red liquid. It smelled like cacophony of fragrances from vaguely floral to fruity something reminiscent of a caramel corn. Okay. Taking a sip didn't help as the flavor seemed to shift as the hot tea moved through your mouth. Spicy, sweet, and almost buttery notes dancing around each other to create a very confusing experience. So I had to try the food next. Clean up your fork to stab into the tall slice of cake. I was adorned with what looked like purple blown sugar in the spiral shape. There was small gold writing along the spiral, but it looked like to be in a language you had never seen before. You put an ample forkful into your mouth. It's like firework went off in your mouth, off into a napkin, spitting out the half chewed food, and tried to breathe. You were finally able to properly inhale through your choking, and were taken aback by the sudden rich chocolate paper that seemed to take over your taste buds. It was the purest taste of chocolate you had ever tasted in your life, and it almost made you go in for a second bite. But you thought better than to do that. You nervous to pick up the breakfast croissant sandwich, not knowing what you were going to experience from the first bite. You close your eyes and. Oh, she said, rather ham and cheese breakfast sandwich. You were so engrossed in your strange eating experience, you had noticed a stocky man that was now standing in front of your table. Hello, pal. You jumped at the sun's voice and looked up from your sandwich. You tried to choke out a response, but your mouth was too full to properly enunciate. And my, uh, hang on. You watched a short little man pull out a piece of paper out of his pocket and quickly look it over, nod to himself and stuff in the back where he pulled it. All right, right? <laughs> my name is Ham Bale, realtor. And I would love to sell you a house today. You stared at him in shock, silence, not quite sure what to say, and a bit confused on what he was offering you. The way he moved was awkward and sluggish, and he seemed to be whispering an uh, awful lot. Inspiring. Um, yeah, so I will show you to your future home. Sorry, but what are you talking about? Oh, did I mess it up again? Forgive me, I'm a bit rusty with this whole realtor shtick. I would love to sell you a house. This is the part where I give you my card. One moment. He watched him went from pocket to pocket searching for his card. Full of secondhand embarrassment. Da -da -da. We know the deal. Alright. He leaned forward to present you this card to you. You can see the all coffee stains, scribble writing on the card before you took it. Please give me a call. Soon. I really needed this. I really need this. I mean. He then turned on his heels and scurried out the door and knocked a few things down his way out. Saw the pocket of the beat up car, and no way in hell you were going to call the guy or people if you were looking to buy a house. Really finishing up your meal, we you cleaned up and headed to your apartment. Okay, I wonder if everything's still gonna happen the same. Alright, it's still a lot. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Last time we just went to the hotel. This time we'll try and wait around to see how that how that goes. 
Let her stay for another hour. Back her to be her and you're exhausted. Okay. The sudden ring from your cell phone wakes you back up and you rush to answer it. Hello, you. Great news. We're able to get everything in order with the help of Miss Woodrow, the mayor's assistant. Your hermit is all ready for you now. You're so very sorry for the inconvenience. He has sent the car to drive you home. Oh, that's wonderful news. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you for going through Uncanny Valley Apartment Hunters. Operating realtor free since 1987. Here you go, pop your phone, a slick black sedan pulled up next to you. The surely looking driver cracking his window and beckoning you in. Go we'll stick on the door with the apartment company's logo and hopped in. Plus your luggage on the seat. You wave goodbye to the driver and rush to your door. You held your breath, turned the door handle. It opened with a slight creak and you exhaled and took your first step inside. It was a spacious and lit up nicely. You're happy to be at home as quickly as you tossed your luggage, locked your front door behind you and made a beeline for your bed. It was, a good be it was good to be home. And tomorrow you start your new job at the gas station. Okay. Now all that's left, I believe. Let's see, let's check the gallery. So. Okay. Now all that's left is to. Well, this time we'll, we'll leave. I don't have the time for survey or the petition or anything like that. Oh. And no one's ever blown me off like that before. Well, my name's Ari Woodrow, the mayor's assistant. Pretty sure I know who you are, so I'll just mark you down and leave you be. Sorry to have disturbed you. Before you respond, Ivy was already rushing past you to interview the next person. Feel bad for being mean to her. But we were but couldn't really think about it how loud or something like that. Okay. Okay, so everything is about the same. In terms of cafe and stuff, so that doesn't really change anything. Everything the same in terms of talking to the guy. Okay. I think that's all that's left is to uh, call him. Alright. He's sad defeated. He seemed nice, and you might as well kill some time looking at houses you'll never buy. Call your phone again, you just have to dial him his number. Hiya, pal. I had a feeling you were going to call me. I feel it in my bones. You were just hiding over there in the bushes watching me, weren't you? No. Uh, any, anyway. What do you say me, you and me go look at that house now? I'm just dying to meet you. Alright, I'll look at the house. Don't expect me to buy something. Hey, don't worry about it. Just getting you inside the house is more than enough for... What do you call it? Commission? Yeah, something like that. Alright, lead the way. Yeah, spend the next 20 minutes slowly falling behind him as he waddled awkwardly along. He kept talking about television programs and fast food places. Worse than likely, you find yourself not really minding the company. Sure, he wasn't great to look at, but he didn't seem like a bad guy. Just very, very awkward. You also couldn't help but wonder what that weird pink tube sticking out of the back of his neck was. If you could ask him, you start walking your eyes wide at the view before you. This is the house? I ain't no house. A little rough around the head, sure. If you turn your love and care, you'll see this house become a home in no time. Or whatever, you just gotta see the inside. I promise you won't be disappointed. Do you really want to waste your time even humoring him and having stuck in a disgusting place? We'll save again. I'm pretty sure we leave. This is gonna be another April Fool's thing, so I'm just gonna go inside. Rubbed your eyes and shrugged. It's the worst that can happen. I didn't seem dangerous in the slightest. Good thing he just seemed pathetic. Alright, him, show me the house. Really? Hot dog. Thank you, this means a lot to me. It was almost kinda cute how the little guy did what you can only guess was an attempt to hop up in excitement. Though his feet only went maybe an inch off the ground. Julie scurried over to the door and opened it for you, beckoning you inside politely. Alright, here we go. 
Yep, and this is bad on the inside. Well, what do you think, pal? Not too bad, right? Hmm. Well, we already know that that dialogue doesn't change anything. Um, first option. Terrible, well, I can't believe you're trying to sell this disgusting place. I guess I could have left myself go maybe a little bit. I want to say I'm disgusting. I'll put in maybe your pill in it, but disgusting is a little harsh. It doesn't matter all that much anyway. I'm such an angler fish type of creature. It's about to eat you. Wait, what? If you could rest what was happening, him awkwardly shoved you to the ground. Oh. Well, <laughs> this is unfortunate. I'm going to be able to knock you down because you were distracted. Sorry, pal. I really liked you. The realtor's got to eat. They put this thing away so my natural anesthetics can gently lull you to sleep. He watches him's eyes turn black as if a light had turned off inside him. His body becoming limp and the end of the cord connected to his neck pulled taut. He watches the cord struggle to yank him's hefty little body, essentially dragging him along the ground face first. This would be a lot scarier if this was anyone or anything else. Maybe tendrils began sprouting from the floor, pushed around themselves until they finally formed. A recliner. Him's voice chin and chimed again, though now it sounded as if it was being projected all around you, except from his body. Oh, this chair is a little such a pain in my gutter to love around, let me tell you. Before was aching, something fierce chasing you around all day. What's happening right now? Just carry his relax. You'll start feeling real sleepy right about now. You lifted yourself off the dirty meaty floor, looked around confused. I don't feel anything. Oh. Oh well um I filled up a bit too fast too earlier. Filled up a bit on fast I'm not gonna lie. Are you serious? Yeah, do you know how hard it is to catch buyers in this economy? How's it got to eat? So I never care all that much for eating people. Give me a fat greasy burger over that anyway. Any day, am I right? I guess I can argue with that. Well, since you're here, do you want to maybe hang out, get some television? Ah. What the hell, sure. Watch this hands recline slowly grew into a size, combining itself with the nearby meeting like couch and invite you to sit with a wave of fleshy tentacle. Who's the bad guy after all? Huh. This is more. We'll, we'll just do the other. Let's see. It's not that bad. <laughs> We'll just do the other uh, avenue of dialogue and see how that goes, and then we'll call it after that. Oh, gee, no one ever said something that nice to me. That makes it what I gotta do a lot harder. What do you mean? Okay. Everything's about the same. Okay. Alright, everything is about the, about the same. Okay, well, that was that. Um, this is House Hunted 2. I believe I played the first one. Yeah, I did play the first one some time ago. Not exactly sure when, but I remember, I remember playing House Hunted. So this is House Hunted 2, I guess because it is April. April Fool's theme for, uh, yeah. So. These are all the credits. Um, let me hide my face for a second so you can see the credits. In full view, your name is on here. Thanks for being a Patreon supporter. I appreciate sure it. Appreciates it, and I, you know, appreciate you for supporting this game so I can play it myself as well. Uh, okay. Now that is that. 
Well, if for this, I believe that is all the avenues. I don't recall any of the options I could have done other than. Oh gosh, I just thought of something. I could have simply just went home. Crazy enough, that's actually the last one, and then we'll be done. Because, yeah. So we could have just went home. Mm, yep. The bus ride was wrong and hard. How much about us going home and then laying on our own bed? Oh wait, home is in the apartment. That home is in our own home because we're moving. Okay. Oh, I see the cord now. Ground. Okay. Everything's about the same. Okay, so we're pressing about the why the apartment is locked, I guess. Uh, of course not, okay. Do my job looking out, that's all. Listen, just take my car. Give me a call when you're ready to buy. Okay. That's cars. I'm oh, funny how I just now I'm losing that board. Everything's about the same though. Okay. So yeah. Everything else is about the same in this. I've tried every avenue that I deem possible. Um, but yeah, this is House Hunter 2. If you are curious about this game, you want to play it for yourself. Of course, everything will be in the description below for this game. Um, but with that being said, I'm just going to end it here because I believe I've exhausted every dialogue option. So. With that being said, hope y'all had a good day, good yesterday, and better tomorrow. And I will catch y'all in the um, next video.